Hello, I am Max. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to make our Orange Pi Zero PXE boot, which is NAP boot from OMV. But before we start it, we need to correct some mistakes in OpenWRT. Uh, in the previous video, we want to set the OMV box to use the address of 192.168.1.2 but we set the address for this device we got 192.168.1.2 so now we're gonna correct this again go to static leases uh, edit let's choose this one save Save and apply. And let's do a disconnect and connect. Okay, address is changed. Okay, let's refresh. Go to the network, or we can just restart. Okay, let's wait to the address update. And we can ping this address. Okay, I think it's up and let's see. Okay, the address is updated. Uh, this is not updated, but that's fine. Next, let's see what port are we going to PXE boot. It's it's this one. This is Orange Pi Zero. It doesn't have an SD card now, uh, but once we got a PXE boot, it doesn't need one. It will boot from this little guy, this SPI flash. Okay. To make our Orange Pi Zero PXE boot, we need RBM, and you can download the RBM for Orange Pi Zero in download and search Orange Pi Zero. And I'm using CLI version, not the minimum, minimal. And I have burned it in an SD card. Now oh, let's pop that in. Our oh, before we start it, using RBM, let's see. What, what we got from our Orange Pi Zero if we get nothing in it. I have already connected the UART pins and let's see what we got. Uh, let's open Minicom. And this one and power it on and okay we got nothing you can see and it only is ethernet two leds are light up but nothing got we got nothing from uart okay now i'm gonna pop the sd card in
and power it on. Oh, let's connect to Ethernet as well. Okay, Ethernet. Okay, now that it's booting, uh, it's booting to kernel now, starting services. And it should, it's about to appear on our router. Okay, let's go and finish boot. Okay. Uh, to make that, uh, to flash our SPI flash, let's update our packages first. And let's install Flash ROM. Okay. And to enable SPI flash, we need to edit our boot environment settings. Uh, let's see if we have SPI by default. And we see nothing started with SPI. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need edit something. So we need an editor, but it's better to do it in SSH uh, I'm gonna 
Nano Boot Armbian EMV. Okay, let's add one here. Overlays SPI dash SPI dev. And here add the line param underscore SPI dev underscore SPI underscore bus equals zero. Okay, save and reboot and go back to our console. Okay, let's lock in. And let's see if we got our SBI flash enabled. And there's our SPI flash. Okay. Okay, make a folder core call SPI flash and create an empty image. Yes, one K T R six zero three seven seven. Okay, make sure we type correct. Next is locate the SPI flash uh, let's, next is uh, locate the U-boot for from RBM user lib Linux U-boot orange pi zero okay this is our path to our U-boot and that's uh, that's right from this file to our spi.img file f equals this path and of equals spi.img And ps equals 1k, conf equals no trunk. Okay. Okay, now let's actually flashing the image to our SPI flash. We're gonna use this command and flash. Okay, it's verifying. Okay, let's power off. Okay, go back to our console. Make sure it's actually powered off. Okay, it's off now. Now let's pop our SD card out. Uh, disconnect power first. And pop it out. Okay, now let's Put it, power it on, and see what we got from our SBI flash. Three, two, one, go. Okay, it's booting from SPI. Okay, we can see. 
which means it's working. And it's trying to get the files from RTFTP server, uh, which we don't have. But it's putting from SPI flash. Okay, next we need to prepare our files for Armbian. Download. Okay, let's transfer this file to our Armbian server. Oh, let's sure what our path is. Let's transfer our files to here. Okay, SP RBN to root at our this open media vault and to this file to this folder. Okay, file is transferred and file is here. Let's mount this image. This is our boot partition, and let's create our let's create a folder on our TFTP server to store this file, and let's see what we need, uh, what was requested by our board. Uh, first, we will go to this one, which is a, which is a generic one specified by I, our router, and next is this one. And this is what we need to create since uh, this string is the MAC address of our board. Let's create a folder called pxelinux.cfg and create a file called this. Okay, this is our TFTP folder on our open media vault. Create pxelinux.cfg. Touch this bim zero one vi zero one and we need play 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 bow Linux kernel VM Linux Sun C uh, F D T D I R D T B Sun C Pend root equals and F and F S in it R D equals you in it rd sun c and fs root is 192.168.1.2 export uh, net boot and mac address i forgot is this one and ip is dhcp read write the Vault Linux. 
Okay, let's save and copy our files here. But let's create a folder to store the files. And modify that. Okay, and CD, CD201, and copy, mount, root, boot, and copy including folder to everything to here. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, the the correct DTB name and the file, the init RD and VM Linux and you init RD is the file and Linux kernel version and a current and Sunsea. Okay, let's go back and modify XE. Modify this. And paste. And paste. And I think we should have what we need to boot, but for our root file system we also need to create a folder called this uh, make a folder and copy copy root everything to here okay and one more one more thing we need to edify our mount point since since we don't have a SD card anymore. We need to our file system tab FS tab and comment out this line. And I think that's all we need. Now let's try to reboot that and see what we have. And boot. Okay, it's getting our okay in it RD uh, via Linux in it RD. Okay, continue. Okay, it's starting kernel and it's booting. Okay, it's putting. And if we want, we can monitor our and we can monitor our network activity. Bmon, and which is our network is this one.
no detected time zone, which is fine. Yeah, same as before, 54 for Asia and 10 China, Beijing time is correct. And now we have Beamon open. Let's restart and see our network activity. And just to be sure, this has no SD card on it. And let's see our network. It's no blinking, but if we go back to our screen, and you can see it's reading. And it's uh, OMV is sending a lot of data out. It's about to mount our file system, which will spike again. Yep. Okay, it's booted. Okay, since this is mounted on Open Media Vault, you can see the total disk capacity is on our Open Media Vault, which is right here. Okay, okay, this is how you boot Orange Pi Zero with Open Media Vault. And in next video, I'm going to network boot Raspberry Pi 1, which is this one. And you may ask, why would I want to network boot this one? Because most videos you can find are about Raspberry Pi 4 or 3, but not much about the old ones, right? Okay, see you in the next one.